And it's not every day that you get to see a, you, it's not every day you get to say that you're breaking a running record, especially when you're just 16 years old. But that's exactly what Mallory Assis did all while battling a rare disease. Samantha Rivera has more from this neighborhood all-star, Samantha. At 16, I was barely getting my license. Meanwhile, Assis, well, she's already doing things much bigger than I think I could have ever done at her age. Fox 5 Neighborhood All-Stars, powered by your San Diego County Toyota dealers. For 16-year-old Mallory Assis, running isn't just a sport. I use running as like an outlet. Like I feel like there's always so much going on in your life that you don't have control over. When I go out to run, I can just like let go. She's only a sophomore at Mira Mesa High School, but she's already breaking records at places like Morley Field, where she finished a 5K with a time of 17.59. It's so exciting. <laughs> it's so exciting to watch her. And luckily, you know, the, the races were at Morley Field and it's a public park. So even though athlete, um, you know, spectators weren't really allowed at like football games at first, you know, we could we could go to the public park and kind of, you know, try to stand back and, and see the kids run. As he says, love for running began when she was young, starting out with softball before she was introduced to the world of conditioning, eventually finding her passion in running. I feel like it's kind of the only sport where it's really just up to you like the practice like the amount of work that goes in equals the amount of work that comes out it wasn't that long ago when the san diego native almost had to stop running altogether she was diagnosed with eosinophilic esophagitis or eoe for short when she was in eighth grade it's a relatively new disease where white blood cells attack the esophagus and make it inflamed i remember at practice like in the summer when i first started going like I still like regurgitate and like have acid reflux during the run, like at the beginning when I first went back and when I ran by myself, that was okay because I could just like spit in the grass or in the street or something. But when I was with a bunch of like older high school people that didn't know me, I didn't want to be like known as the spitting girl is my first impression. <laughs> she's considers herself lucky, still getting to run while her body reacts well to her medication. If you, you're feeling bad, you know, just go for, for a run. Like it boosts your mental health a lot and keeps your mind off a lot of things. Assis hopes to continue her running career into college. Samantha Rivera, Fox 5 Sports.